Hello, this is Zain Surprise Television News Headlines. I am Kemi Omoshibi. Nigerian government recorded a fiscal deficit of 2.14 trillion naira in its operation in 2017 fiscal period. This is according to figures obtained from the Central Bank of Nigeria in the fourth quarter economic report. A fiscal deficit occurs when a government's total expenditure exceeds the revenue that it generates, excluding borrowings. An analysis of the report shows that the fiscal deficit for the 2017 fiscal year was lower than the 2.17 trillion naira recorded in 2016. And Spras Television learned that the deficit was financed through domestic and foreign borrowings, including issuance of government security. The embassy of Ukraine and Nigerian collaboration with Nigerian Ministry of Foreign Affairs would be receiving the first Ukraine trade mission to Nigeria between April 3rd and 6th. The Ukraine ambassador to Nigeria, Dr. Valeria Alexandrov, said the visit is also in partnership with the Abuja Chamber of Commerce and Industry, as well as the Office for Trade Negotiations, Nigerian Association of Chambers of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture. He also said a visit will be added by the Ukraine Trade Representative and Deputy Minister, Economic Development and Trade, Natalia Mykoska. The mission is expected to arrive Lagos April 4th for Nigeria and Ukrainian Business Forum. The mission has also scheduled a meeting with the Lagos State Governor, Akimomi Ambode, as well as the Director, Dangote Group of Companies. In the course of his stay in Abuja, a memorandum of understanding would be signed between Abuja Chamber of Commerce and Industry and that of Ukraine. The Islamic Development Bank has urged to lend Tunisia $185 million to finance development, including an electricity project. The bank agreed to finance an electricity link worth $150 million, as well as the construction of hospitals in Kansarain and Kep worth $35 million. The agreement will be signed between Tunisia's Minister of Development and the head of the bank, which holds its annual meeting in the country this year. Tanzania has escaped the wrath of the United States in banning duty-free treatment of its clothes import, affecting Rwanda after its decision to impose barriers on U.S. export of second-hand clothing. Tanzania and neighboring Uganda will continue to benefit from the duty-free treatment of its clothing import stipulated under the African Growth and Opportunity Act. According to a report a letter from U.S. President Donald Trump to Congress stated that the United States is continuing African Growth and Opportunity Act benefit for Tanzania and Uganda. As for Rwanda, the Deputy U.S. Trade Representative C.J. Mahoney said the duty-free status for apparel will end in 60 days if no corrective actions are taken by Rwanda. China has imposed tariffs up to 25% on 128 U.S. imports, including pork and wine. This was after U.S. President Donald Trump raised duties on foreign steel and aluminium import in March. The tariffs affecting some $3 billion of imports. Beijing said the move was to safeguard China's interests and balance losses caused by new U.S. tariffs. China previously said it did not want a trade war but would not sit by if its economy was hot. U.S. has insisted that trade wars are good and that it should be easy for the U.S. to win war. <music> Moving down to sports, the National Football League has signed a long-term extension to its key partnership with U.S. sportswear company Nike. Under the extended agreement, Nike will continue to provide all 32 NFL clubs with uniform and sideline apparel for use during all games. Nike will also continue to supply players who hold endorsement deals with a firm with footwear and gloves as part of the deal. The NFL did not disclose the length of the new deal, but the report shows that an eight-year extension has been signed. The two parties' previous deal had been due to expire in 2020, and the new agreement will run until 2028. Nike became the National Football League's official key supplier in 2012, replaced the book in the role. And that's it on Enterprise Television News Headlines for today. For more news, updates, special reports and our shows, visit our website www.enterprisetv.tv. Our social media platform are always there for your home round information. In the world of business, I am Kemi Omoshibi. Many thanks for watching.